Hi everyone! Welcome to the channel of Creative Proteomics. Today we want to introduce a type of proteomics technology, the isotope coded affinity tag, or ICAT. After the Human Genome Project is fully implemented, interpreting and applying a large amount of gene sequence information to analyze further the information contained in the species gene sequence from the perspective of structure, function, and biological process regulation has become a significant challenge. Therefore, at that time, a method for measuring the expression of the genome at the mRNA level was comprehensively developed to measure the function of the cell in a certain state and to find and identify the idiotypic gene of the cell in a certain state. However, the level of mRNA expression is often not necessarily related to protein concentration, and gene expression and transcription cannot fully explain the physiological functions of cells. The functional relationship between the function of the gene and other gene products and their subcellular structures can ultimately be determined by studying gene products at the protein level. This is where proteomics research came into being. The main goal of proteomics research is to systematically identify and quantify the proteins in a given proteome. The most commonly used method in proteomics was to separate proteins by high-resolution, two-dimensional polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, and then use mass spectrometry or tandem mass spectrometry to identify protein spots. However, due to the shortcomings of this technology, such as detecting only a certain type of protein and the difficulty of detecting low-abundance proteins. The development of quantitative proteomics has been limited. New methods are therefore urgently needed. In 1999, the isotope-coded affinity tag technology was introduced using the principle of stable isotope dilution, providing a new space for quantitative proteomics development. The iCAT technology has expanded a range of proteins that can be analyzed, such as low abundance, hydrophobic, or highly charged proteins. It allows accurate quantification and concurrent sequence identification of individual proteins in complex mixtures. The iCAT technology uses an isotope affinity tag, a new chemical reagent, to pre-select a specific type of protein. After separation and purification, the protein is identified by mass spectrometry. According to the intensity ratio of a pair of peptide ions labeled with different ICAT reagents on the mass spectrum, the relative abundance of its parent protein in the original cell is quantitatively analyzed. This method identifies protein sequence and precisely quantifies proteins in complex mixtures. The iCAT reagent consists of three elements, an affinity tag, or biodin, used to isolate iCAT-labeled peptides, a linker containing stable isotope signatures that can be differentiated by mass spectrometry, and a reactive group with specificity towards thiol groups. The reagent exists in two forms, heavy and light. In the original iCAT reagent, the heavy form contains eight deuterions, and a light form contains no deuterions in the linker, resulting in an 8 Dalton mass difference. Now let's take a look at the actual operation process. In the first step, the two sources of cells are lysed in different states, and the protein is reduced. In the second step, add different iCAT reagent labels to the two samples. The iCAT reagent is covalently bound to the cystine residual of each protein. Three, Mix the two samples after the labeling is complete and hydrolyze them into peptides of different sizes with trypsin. Four step, separate peptides by cation exchange chromatography to reduce complexity and remove all remaining pancreatin, detergent, reducing agent, and iCAT reagent. Five, separate the labeled and unlabeled peptides by avidin affinity chromatography. The biodin labeled peptide is captured by affinity chromatography. 6. The labeled peptides are eluded and separated again by liquid chromatography. 7. Then analyzed by tandem mass spectrometry. The mass spectrometer, or MS, operates in two stages, such as MS mode and MS slash MS or tandem MS mode. 
MS mode measures peptide ions from iCAT labeled peptide pairs. This ratio reveals the ratio of protein and original mixture. The second stage of MS is sequencing. Select peptide ions and fragment them, and then match them with the protein database in the computer. We can apply the iCAT technology to the following research. Analyze changes in whole cell protein expression and provide unique insights for the biological system under study. Analyze protein changes in specific subcellular fractions such as microsome, chromatin, mitochondria, and lipid rafts. Identify the components of protein complexes and analyze their kinetics. Analyze the changes of disease-related proteins in different body fluids. Identify important functional proteins, disease-related proteins, and biomarker molecules, and then use them for disease diagnosis. Quantitative analysis of protein post-translational modifications. The iCAT technology has the following advantages. The ability to directly analyze low-abundance proteins quantitatively and qualitatively. The separation is carried out at a peptide level and the solubility problem of membrane protein is solved, and membrane protein can be identified and quantified. Mixed samples from normal and diseased cells or tissues, etc., can be tested directly. Reduce the complexity of the protein mixture by selecting and marking peptides containing cysteine. Comparing two or more protein samples from closely related sources can obtain the ratio of changes in protein expression under different conditions. The content of proteins whose sources are closely related can be the internal reference standards. For proteins containing multiple cysteine residuals, identification and quantification can be obtained by repeatedly searching for peptides containing polycysteine. ICAT technology is based on chromatographic separation, and any reagent that promotes protein dissolution can be used. But of course, the ICAT technology also has its limitations. The ICAT response group, molecular weight equals to 570.5, increases the complexity of database search, especially for short peptides. But this problem has been improved by cleavable tag, Proteins without cysteine or their sulfhydryl groups will not be labeled, so the changes in these proteins will not be identified. This method requires complete information. The most important thing is that the mark must be specific and complete. However, the current marking efficiency is time-dependent, rarely reaching more than 80%. The peptides labeled with the two reagents may be eluded at different times so there may be errors in their relative quantitative identification. At Creative Proteomics, we are confident to provide professional and reliable iCAT and other proteomics quantification services, including ITRAQ-based proteomics analysis service, TMT-based proteomics analysis service, SILAC-based proteomics analysis service, Absolute Quantification, or Aqua Service, Label-Free Quantification Service, Semi-Quantitative Proteomics Analysis Service. We are happy to provide consultations and services for your project. Please contact us for more information. Thank you for your time with us today.